Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of the Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. We just reached the end of Chapter 5 last time, so I guess we're entering Chapter 6, let's see. Yeah, shit really hit the fan the past few videos, not gonna lie. Oh, that's a big jump forward, like two weeks. <clears throat> Half a month after the incident at Corellia Fortress, a sense of lingering unease still hung over the Empire. Mm-hmm, I could see that. The government increased patrols by the Railway Military Police as part of their counter-terrorism measures. While the Noble Faction bolstered their provincial armies, there were even rumors that they'd hired several Jaeger Corps. Mm, not a very good idea. At the center of everything was the Imperial Liberation Front. Mm -hmm. They had allied with a terrorist group from the Republic of Calvert to attack the Trade Conference in Crossbell. Right, how many people died there? And as we'd seen firsthand, had attacked Corellia Fortress in an attempt to fire the two railway guns stationed there. But C said this all went according to plan. Did he expect the guns not to fire? They I don't made know. it abundantly clear that they were no mere insurgents. These were dangerous people we were dealing with. Oh yeah, that much has already been established. And following their attempts to target Chancellor Osborne and the Reformist faction, rumors started to spread of a possible connection between the Imperial Liberation Front and the Noble Faction itself. You don't say. Meanwhile, new information was filtering in from Crossbell that surprised us all. Declaration of Independence. During the conference, one of the representatives of Crossbell's state government made the daring declaration yeah. that Crossbell would soon declare its independence, breaking free from its neighbors, Calvert and Erebonia. Is he allowed to do that? To no one's surprise, both the Imperial government and the noble faction dismissed it as nothing more than delusional raving. That's what I thought. But one thing was clear. That declaration only served to increase the tension in Erebonia and across the continent. So, are we back at fours? Yes, we are. Or Trista, whatever you want to call it. There's that cat again. I see you. So I guess we're going to the next schoolhouse floor at some point. Not cars around. On a cool, clear autumn day, mm -hmm. the Academy's prestigious board of directors gathered for their first meeting of the year. Okay. Don't tell me there's gonna be another attack here. I just hope there's a ton of security for what it's worth. Sarah seems disgruntled, for whatever reason. Conference room. Yeah, I could see that game, thank you. Conference room. <clears throat> Apparently Sarah's not allowed in. And that concludes my biannual report. Good, good. It seems the Academy is running like a well-oiled machine. No administrative issues to speak of. Okay. Student performance is sitting comfortably above <coughs> the national average on exams and on general aptitude tests, too. Well, average is better than unaverage. The second year students seem to be having a banner year as well. The student council president in particular has built up an outstanding array of extracurricular achievements. I really hope she's okay. Did she get injured during that? I don't know. <laughs> well, she attended last month's trade conference, and from what I hear, she put the professional secretaries to shame. How's that? I only wish the conference could have ended on a more... positive note. Yeah, of course, we all do. I'll say. The share prices of my company have been on a real roller coaster ride ever since. Arena, is that all you care about? People died. Undoubtedly. What happened at the trade conference has wreaked havoc on the economy as a whole. A lot of people died. But moving on. I couldn't help but notice in the recent exam reports that Class 1 and 2's academic performance seems to be slipping. Oh, is that so? Perhaps the preferential treatment given to the upper-class students is hindering their scholastic development? No idea. Well, students belonging to the nobility are allowed to return home during August to learn more about their family's lands. 
It's a tradition here, but one I can't help but wonder if we've outgrown the need for in this modern age. Mm -hmm. If I may, traditions accumulate and hold meaning only so long as they're preserved. It's one way of looking at it. Our nation's culture, its arts, its social classes, all are rich with tradition that makes Erebonia what it is. And I believe we have a duty to protect and uphold them. After all, does not this very institution champion the ideals of its founder, Emperor Dracos? Oh, she's pronounced Dracos. I was actually pronouncing it correctly the whole time. Cool. Indeed it does. Though I've always understood Dracos' intent to be the founding of an academy for the people. Even 200 years ago, when education was seen as the province of the nobility, male commoners were permitted to enroll. Today, we have plenty of young women attending, and the commoners easily outnumber the nobles on campus. I did not know that. Perhaps it's time we started taking strides to realize Emperor Dragle's true ideal. You seem to be laboring under a few misconceptions here. Commoners were permitted to attend, but only as retainers. Whatever a retainer is. Retainers served knights, who served lords, who served the emperor. That's the way the Erebonian society functioned. Oh, okay. From that vantage, the structure of the academy in its earlier days certainly seems to have embodied that social order. And if that's so, what is there to suggest that it's not the social order itself that has become the aberration? Mm hmm. Well... Got him there. For one, if that were the case, it would be far easier for me to see my views put into practice. But I can hardly get a word in edgewise between you two. Well, I'd certainly enjoy a return to the way things were in Dreykel's time, at least in that particular respect. Eh, maybe. <laughs> our apologies, Your Highness. Well, our role here is to consider your views and work toward implementing them. <sighs> see what I mean? Would you be so kind as to help me out here, Principal? I'm here to moderate this board. It wouldn't do for me to express my position on the issues at hand. That said, I'm sure your passion for reform will triumph in the end, Your Highness. Hopefully. I suppose I should have known better than to look to my old teacher for sympathy. Oh, you were his old teacher? <laughs> <coughs> It warms my heart to see such a fine teacher-student relationship. I did not know that. Now, if I may, I'd like to steer this discussion toward a rather timely topic. Which is? We've already touched on the issues regarding the Orbal Net and the Orbal Staves, but... I'd like to stress again that the adoption of new security measures for the Orbal Net should be a top priority. Well, I'm certainly inclined to agree. Let's just hope this doesn't backfire. We'll have to rely on the Foundation directly, as things are looking a little shaky with the IBC. I'm not sure what the IBC is either. You can leave that to me. The other matter I'd like to review is the use of the Orbal Staves and the Arcus Units. What about them? Or more specifically, we need to talk about how Class 7 should operate from here on out. What was that supposed to mean? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, do you not want us interfering with this terrorist incident Setting anymore? aside the fact that my daughter is a member of Class 7. Yeah, that too. I think we need to reconsider how the class should be run, in light of what happened at Gorelia Fortress. You think? While it certainly proved an excellent chance to see what the Arcus units are capable of. It was dangerous, damn. I have serious doubts about whether we should carry on with these field studies, given the current political climate. It would be difficult to do so, I admit. Oh, so we're not going to go any more field studies? With the terrorists at large and the problems in Crossbell unresolved, these are uncertain times. Yeah, definitely uncertain. At the very least, I believe it may be in the class's best interest to cancel this month's field study. Unless he finds something horrible at the sixth floor of the schoolhouse, we I We can always know. resume them once the terrorists have been arrested and the situation in Crossbell calms down. Somehow I doubt that's going to happen by the end of the game. Hmm. Hmm. Arise, O youth, and become the foundation of the world. What the hell are you talking about? I'm sure you all recognize the words of Emperor Dreykos. They become something of a school motto here. 
I didn't. It's my belief that Class 7's actions at Corellia Fortress perfectly embody the spirit of that directive. Oh, this is the title screen music. They stood together to stop a tragedy in the making, and, in a sense, protected the foundation of our world. All true. No one ordered them to do it. They took action of their own free will, because they knew in their hearts what was right. Some might call it recklessness. Some may think it rash. Some may even venture to call it hubris. Not sure what hubris means. However, as chairman of this academy, I'm incredibly proud of what the brave young men and women of Class 7 achieved. Your Highness. Huh. So does that mean we're not canceling the field study? <clears throat> Troubled times may lay in store for Erebonia, and for the entire continent in the months and years to come. Oh yeah, because there's three more games after this. But I believe that makes something like Class 7's field studies all the more significant. I don't know about that. The experiences they're having now will help them find the strength and the means to press on through adversity. I can't be the only one who feels this way, can I? Maybe. Well, everyone's faking. They do seem to be showing remarkable growth. That much is true. Mm -hmm. Although I have no idea how much my daughter is really capable of, immature as she is. I don't know either, but we'll find out. <laughs> I could say the same of my hot head of a son. Well, you, Rufus. I do wonder about my brother sometimes. Also, isn't having all your relatives be on the board a conflict of interest? However, it does seem that enrolling in this academy has helped him start breaking out of his shell. I don't think this was fly in the real world if this was such a thing. Okay, so apparently we're not casting the field study. With the Academy Festival coming next month, we hadn't even planned a field study. Festival? What festival? So the issue at hand is just whether to hold a field study at the end of this month or not. You're gonna vote on it? I'd like to ask those in favor of going ahead with this month's field study to please raise their hands. Okay, it's gonna be unanimous. And you're not going to show us. Great. Just great. Cut the black. A six period special homeroom. Alright. I'd like to begin by taking everyone's ideas for our class's part in the school festival. I still don't know what the school festival is. 127. Damn. That's a lot. We're wearing our red uniforms again. The festival will run for two days next month. 23rd and the 24th. Okay. The equipment setup and the other preparatory work will begin in the afternoon, two days before the start of the festival. But there's a lot of preparation needed before we get to that point, and the sooner we get that underway, the better. That's all the more reason to figure out what exactly we want to do. What is this? Is this like a celebration? A sh show? I don't know. Some of our options include displays, events, stage shows, and cafes. Sort of like a party, then, I guess. Does that sound right, Crow? Mm, does it? Does it, Crow? Yeah, though no class I know would settle for just some simple display. I mean, come on, no one ever said, "Boy, we better rush to get in the line for that display." That is true. Well, either way, I'd like to start by soliciting some ideas from all of you. We're just brainstorming right now, so feel free to say <coughs> whatever comes to mind. Everyone's faking except Milliam. <laughs> Milliam has a question mark. Somebody say something. Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> Apparently nobody has any ideas. Great. Would it kill you all to give just a teensy bit of cooperation? Mm-hmm. I know, I know. It's just... Just what? It's kind of hard to focus right now. Because of the terrorists? You're one to talk, standing up there with your nervous fidgeting. <sighs> You're still not getting along, are they? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. The board of directors is in session as we speak, deciding what'll happen to our class. Yes, they are. And those of us with family members who sit on that board probably have even more cause for concern. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Lisa? You can say that again. 
we can't even be sure whether there will be a field study this month. That's about the long and short of it. With everything that happened during last month's field study, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if they just canceled it. Yeah, I don't think they are, actually. I can't say I have any particular feelings of attachment to our field studies. You don't? But I refuse to accept needless changes to our curriculum. Especially with my brother involved in the decision-making process. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Makes sense to me. We also have to account for the fact that going on our field study means that much less time to prepare for the festival. <laughs> prepare for barking, guys. So, as you can see, it presents a bit of a problem. Man, look at you guys taking this all seriously. Um... Got an idea, Million? I probably should have asked a little earlier, but... But what? What's this festival you guys keep talking about? I was wondering, Wait, too. Seriously? Apparently everybody knows but Million. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have gone over that for your benefit. Did she always have that smiley face on her hat? I don't remember. Every year, the students here organize and put on a school-wide festival. Okay. There are stage events, food stalls, and all kinds of things to see and do. That's cool. And it generally falls to each of the first-year classes to provide the main attractions. Yeah, participating is optional for the second years, since by this point they're usually focusing on their future careers. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, and each of the clubs generally get involved, too. Which I was still never able to join one. Huh. Their eyes just flash orange for a second? Am I crazy? We can't just let the other classes roll over us because we're small. <sighs> you say that, but I've already had one of the girls from class one bluster up to me declaring that this time victory will be all ours. Who's that? What? It must have been Ferris. <laughs> that sounds exactly like something she'd say. Well, class one does seem to have had it in for us ever since the midterm results were announced. If it's all the same, I'd rather not see the House of High Arms claim yet another nominal victory. But we need to account for the fact that our class is markedly smaller than theirs is. I think that's a good point. Hmm. That's certainly true. So what do we do? <sighs> It'd help if we at least knew what the other classes are doing. So you want to spy on them? It kind of seems like everyone's having trouble staying focused. Got that right. Come on, everyone, get it together. Oh, hello, instructor. Instructor Sarah? Uh, isn't this a self study period? I don't know, is it? Oh, it was. <laughs> but I thought you all might like to know that the board of directors meeting just adjourned a few minutes ago. And so the results? I decided to skip along down here and be the first to break the news. Did you really skip or did you run or walk? Then. What about our next field study? Are we still on? Where would we go after this? I have no idea. <laughs> the Chancellor's not the only one with a little too much iron in his blood. I don't get the reference, Because but... Because the board voted unanimously to have you continue your field studies. Again with that winky face. Okay. Just seen that coming. <laughs> you mean it? Why is everyone so excited? So that's how it is. I'd be kind of nervous considering all the shit, the shit that's been going down lately. You know, even though they're always hard work, I actually feel a little relieved. I don't. Considering all that happened last month, we'll need to be especially careful this time around. Right. Still, it feels like our field studies are a big part of who we are as a class. You say so, Reen. Yeah. They're kind of a pain, but no oh well. Yeah, more along the lines of what Thee's thinking. We should be grateful to His Highness and the Directors. <laughs> That's good news! Seeing the hard road and the easy road, then picking the hard one anyway. That's youth for you. <laughs> It also sounded like His Highness and the Directors will be taking off in pretty short order. So I'll let you guys out of study hall early to go see them if you want. Do we really want to? <sighs> if you say so. I think I'll take you up on that. Well, Reed doesn't have to go, because he doesn't have a relative on the board, but... Unless it's just automatic, it's just gonna be a cutscene. 
Oh, there's Sharon. Okay, so everyone's weaving, apparently. Mother! Dad! Okay, we're all here, apparently. Machias, I haven't had the chance to talk with you since the Summer Festival. Oh, yeah. It sounds like you were quite the heroes at G Fortress. Come on, don't tease us. I'll be the first to admit that we acted rashly. No, you didn't. But in the end, I have no regrets. You shouldn't. I'm glad to hear it. It's good to see you again. Likewise, May feels so far behind us now. Oh, May feels so far behind us. I was thinking what the hell he's saying. Your questions, no? It's written all over your face. I do. You were into a gram, weren't you, to meet Duke Cayenne? Correct. I was hoping to have time to greet you and your classmates, too, but you didn't. But I imagine you would rather he not take too close an interest in you. You imagine right. Okay. Still, I'm concerned. What is the House of Alborea playing at? Don't know. And not just us. What are the four great houses and the rest of the noble faction trying to accomplish? You asked right there as a simple answer, which probably isn't. The four great houses aren't as united in opinion as you might think. Even with individual families, there can be disagreements. You know that I differ with Father on several issues, oh yeah. But rather than worrying about others' positions, I suggest giving them giving some thought to your own as a member of the family. Silence. I'm surprised you actually managed to make it here. I was expecting a business negotiation to crop up just in the nick of time like it always does. Time is something you make, not something you find. All the more so if you're in the position of responsibility. Bah. Lady Elisa is quite the multitasker herself. You, you should see her. She has no trouble balancing your time between her studies, training, club activities, and hobbies. Of course she doesn't. I'd be disappointed if she wasn't able to manage at least that much. Wow. You need to start using your time more creatively, creatively, Elisa, instead of simply doing what's required of you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pissed off too. Ugh. I saw the railway guns at G, you know. I saw what those A's are capable of. I can understand my grandfather regrets ever making them. Me too. Do you honestly feel things like that are necessary? Are you really okay with that? Huh. I think the fact that you've seen enough to ask me now, that now, means that deep down you've realized, what? That they're both necessities of this era we live in. I don't agree with that. Well... The opinions of others are only that. Stop relying on them so much. Observe for yourself and draw your own conclusions. That's what someone who is truly independent would do anyway. Right. Silence. Still, I wasn't expecting to find myself indebted to you again so soon. Okay, why is this voice know the earth stuff wasn't? Without your intervention, the Chancellor and I would have met our maker in Crossbow. Is C really his bro Prince Alfred's brother? I'd be very surprised if I'm right about that. Don't mention it. We just... Because who else has the first name of C and would fit that criteria? I don't just know. Just relieved you're all okay, your highness. Because when you think about it, we've barely seen the younger prince, aside from a few cutscenes, you know? Indeed. I'm glad you were able to focus on making a positive contribution at the conference. I wish I could tell you that's exactly what I did. What happened? I scarcely find a place to chime in once the Chancellor and the Republic's president got going. That's Although unfortunate. the mayor of Crossbell managed to dumbfound even them. I presume you're referring to his proposal for Crossbell's independence? <clears throat> yeah, I think that went over pretty well. Hard to believe it could actually happen. Well, as long as both Erebonia and Calvert refuse to accept it, the likelihood of it actually happening is incredibly low. 
Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Still, they're planning to hold a referendum on the issue to see if the population is in favor of it. So there'll be plenty more chances for disputes to break out over the issue. I could see that happening. Well, neither of them want to lose all that sweet tax revenue from Crossbell. Yeah, also, I'm going to be very disappointed if all this terrorism shit is, go is going on just because of money. Half of it flows into the provinces, too, so, like, fat chance the noble faction's going to take that line down. It shouldn't always just be about money. It should be about more important things, you know? Uh, William. Oh, I swear, this kid has all the delicacy of a rock to the face. <laughs> so you're William, are you? Your name seems to have come up with increasing frequency lately. Yeah, that's her, alright. I was hoping for a chance to see the famous Eric Getlam in action, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bring him out. Sure thing! Don't bring him out! Whoa there. Cool your jets. I'm not sure this is the best place to call out Eric Getlam. Just a hunch. Lame. <laughs> Objection overruled. Oh, that could have gotten messy. Honestly, it would save us all a lot of trouble if you could just refrain from saying whatever pops into your mind, too. Who are you? Lame. <laughs> oh, who might you be? Say, are you from the Vander family? The one who serves as the prince's bodyguard? I don't know. Did Nightheart mention me? No, he did not. Do they begin with a C? No, it does not. Mueller Vander. I'm Mueller Vander of the 7th Armored Division. How many armored divisions are there? I heard the 4th, the 5th, and now the 7th? I was with the Prince at the conference in Crossbell, so I'm in your debt as well. Where's your armored divisions 1 to 3 and 6? Glad to be able to thank you personally. The honor is ours, sir. It's an honor to meet a member of the esteemed Vander family. Ah, so you're the Radiant Blade Master's daughter. And you must be a practitioner of the Eight Leaves One Blade style. That's us. I'm always happy to meet fellow students of the sword. Oh, and you must be the young man from Nord who my uncle wrote a reference for. Yes, that would be me. I owe a lot to Lieutenant General Vander. Oh, that guy. You're away to that guy? It sounds like he's in your debt as well, with everything that happened in Nord a few months ago. Oh, yeah. Well... You all seem like dependable young men and women. <laughs> Perhaps the prince's idea had some merit to it after all. Oh boy. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? And it's not just Class 7 either. The whole academy seems so full of life. I won't say the whole academy. Perhaps I should take this opportunity to break down social barriers by getting to know all of them in the academy's pool. You mean the swimming pool? If you really want to work up a sweat, I'd be glad <laughs> to let you run back to Heimdall. If you kept up a good sprint, I'll bet you could even make it in a couple hours. It's only 30 minutes away. You'd but... actually make me do it, too. Ah, uh, <laughs> cruelty. My name is Mueller. It's like their hearts practically beat in sync. That's certainly one way to look at it. I wonder how long they've known each other. Probably a long time. Yeah, Lisa's not making any growls of her mother. Progress or whatever. Okay, I guess they're all leaving now. Unless some attack happens in the next minute or so. <laughs> well then, I bid you all a fond farewell. I hope we have the chance to meet again soon. Oh, I'm sure we will. Airship in the sky. Sort of cut towards the air for a second. Oh wow. Free day, right? Three days have passed since the board directors hand down their decision, okay? With the assurance that our field studies would continue, we finally turned our attention to next month's festival. However, losing those couple of days at the end of the month meant we had that much less time to prepare. Mm -hmm. 
And no matter how much we brainstormed, we couldn't think of any real compelling ideas for our small quest that could pull off. Eventually, da da da. Wow, so, wow, you haven't come up with anything? Jeez, I can't believe you burned through another week already. But hey, at least it's the perfect weather for a weekend out in the town. I hope you all enjoy your free day tomorrow. Yes, a free day is what for what. Especially since we got in there a practical exam coming up next Wednesday, oh boy. You couldn't just send us off with have a good weekend, could you? No, not Sarah. It just wouldn't be Instructor Sarah if she didn't throw in a little dash of torment. And then we have this month's field study coming up at the end of next week, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, just like we've been planning. Anyone's guess where we're going to be going this month, but... We might have made a few changes to the original itinerary, but nothing major. Oh. I'll tell you all about where you're go handed after the practical exam, so until then, keep on guessing. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, you'll need to make it into some sort of dramatic revelation. She always does, though. This is true. Ooh, I can't wait to find out where we're going this going to go this time. Oh, and by the way, you guys really need to figure out what you're going to do for the festival next month, I know. First years have to participate, so if you can't think of anything, you'll be showing your field study reports instead. What? Hmm, that certainly wouldn't be my first choice, or even my fifth. Anyway, that's a wrap for homeroom. If you do, do the honors, Miss Class President. Yes, Instructor. I'll rise, bow. Or stand, bow. That works, too. Well, I'm sure she was just joking about putting our field study reports on display. I hope. Either way, we need to figure out what we're doing by the start of next week. That sounds wise, especially considering we have our practical exam on Wednesday and our field study next weekend. Mm -hmm. If that's not how things stand, we should make it our goal to at least have some solid ideas by the end of tomorrow. We also need to check out what the other classes are planning. If we ended up doing something that was already being done, we seem totally redundant. That's true, again. Yeah, we should split up and start gathering some info. But remember, we need to find something that will work with the number of people we got. Yeah, all the other classes have more than double the manpower we do easily. That's not fair. They all seem to have some pretty grand aspirations at that. Hmm? If the greatness were reliant on numbers, museums would be full of artwork produced by committee. There must be some course of action that can turn our lesser numbers to our advantage. Yeah, the question is, what? If we had an easy answer, we wouldn't be spending all this time worrying over it. I'm getting kind of pumped up. Well, little interclass competition never hurt anyone. In fact, it might spice things up a bit. Okay, so, standard uniform, okay. I'm gonna save, because we haven't saved in a while. We haven't saved at all since this video started. Okay, so what are my objectives? Just I gotta figure out what my objectives are. Let's see. Oh, that's it. Return to the dorm. Okay. Apparently, I only have one objective. I don't have to go around looking for information just yet. Again, hidden quests. I hope we have time to search them out because it just takes too long, guys. Although I do imagine we're going to be going back to that schoolhouse pretty soon. I want those on the final floor. There gotta be something at the bottom, right? That's usually how these things work. I swear, if I don't get answers soon about that damn cat, I'm going to be mad as hell. Should I go back to the dormitory? Yes, we should. Oh, cutscene? Who's in front of insects, us? Insects, huh? Well, it is fall, I guess. Oh, just the insects chirping? Alright. Hard to believe I've already been here half a year. The festival used to seem so far off. Now it's just next month. Time flies. <sighs> Past six months really have flown by. Not for me, they haven't. Is that you, Reed? Toa? Oh, it is Toa. <laughs> that was a lucky guess. Toa? 
Hey there. I haven't seen you out and about too much lately. <laughs> well, the meeting I was in ended a little early. You gonna say something about me saving your life? So I thought that was a nice point to call it a day. I see. Did you guys discuss the Academy Festival? Yep. We've still got a lot we need to nail down before next month to keep the preparations ready smoothly. There's enough to discuss that we're actually meeting again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> Sounds like work's really keeping you busy then. Definitely. By the way, have you figured out what you'd like me to help you with tomorrow? I'll even take the tasks now if you have them handy. Really? Oh, I usually sort those out before I go to bed. Makes sense. Hmm. I guess we could go over them now. But there's some shopping I really need to do. Wanna well, come with me? Sorry. Is it okay if I get them to you tomorrow morning like usual? Yes, yeah, no problem. It's totally fine. What's up? She's thinking. Rain, there's something I want to tell you. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to say it, but... What? I want you and everyone from Class 7 to know how grateful I am for what you did at Corellia Fortress. Yeah, you would die otherwise. Oh. It's fine, really. We've gotten plenty of rounds of thanks for it already. Yeah, I bet you'd have. We just kind of ended up in the wrong place at the right time. We were lucky the instructors were there, and... That doesn't change the fact that you saved my life. Mm, she's right, Rain. I wasn't on the same floor where the conference was being held. That's irrelevant. You see how powerful those guns are? But if a shot from the railway guns had hit Orcus Tower, I doubt I'd be standing here today. You definitely wouldn't. Toa. I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I feel like I'm just kind of babbling on and repeating myself now. So, I'll stop myself here. Huh. She's awfully conscientious, isn't she? Definitely is. Oh, you said you were on your way out to do some shopping, right? Is she there a lot sure on did. your list? Well, a pretty good amount, I suppose. You wanna go together? Oh! And I just remembered I need to pick up that stuff at the bookstore, too. Hmm. Then after I get everything I need at the general store, I might have to make a trip back here to drop it off. You could do that. Or I could come along with you and help carry all those bags. I guess Rean's offering. So how about it? No strings. I just feel like you could use a hand. Oh, oh no. There's no way I could drag you along on all my errands. Sure you can. I mean, sure, it'd be a big help, but I just feel so bad asking you to do it. Why? Ugh, that makes it sound like deep down I secretly want you to come, and that's not... Oh, she's freaking out. <laughs> well, if it eases your conscience, there's actually something I need your advice on. What's that? It's about my class and what we can do for the upcoming festival. Oh, right. Got any ideas, Toa? When the cat's gone... That's a general store, alright. Okay, we're shopping there. Bookstore next? Well, she did say it'd be a lot of stuff, Rain. <laughs> Pawn shop. Yeah, There's a lot more stuff you gotta carry. You did offer to do it, Rain. You can't take it back now. Wow, it's already nighttime. <sighs> that should be everything. You spend the whole afternoon shopping? Jesus Christ. Wow, is it this late already? Apparently so. I guess the sun has started setting a little earlier lately. Still, I had no idea you came here often. 
Well, Mick is always able to get stuff you can't buy anywhere else. That's true. I never actually shopped to him, but He's yeah. He's my go-to guy when there's something I can't get at the Academy store. Like fireworks to use in school events. I think we even asked him for a penguin costume once, and he actually got it. What would you need that for? Yeah, it sounds like you have a pretty unique shopping list. Uh-huh. Wait! Wait, what? How, how did you end up with all those bags? How do you think? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Here, give me some of those. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. You don't look fine. You're carrying plenty as it is. No, she's not. Uh, sorry, Rain. Well, how about we take a break in the rest area over there? I'll buy you a coffee or something. You drink coffee? You wanted to ask me something about the Academy Festival too, right? Sure did. Ooh, yeah. That does sound like a problem. Mm-hmm. Please tell me you have an idea. Well, your class doesn't have enough people to do anything that involves large-scale equipment or decorations. Certainly don't. You all could get together and run a little cafe without any problems, if you all wanted to do something like that. Do we? I thought about it, yeah. Still, if we're going to do something, I at least want it to be as impressive as what the other classes are doing. <laughs> Feeling a little competitive, aren't we, Rain? I guess so. Well, you have enough people to put on a play or run a game tournament. I really do not want to do a play, but please. other first-year classes have already applied to do both of those. Good. I see. I don't really want to copy an idea another class is already doing. No, you definitely don't. Come That's to think of it. What? What did your class do last year? Has it been intrusive, but well, alright. It was a cat themed coffee shop where we all wore cat suits. Again with the cats. What is with the cats? And then there was that other event I did with Angie and the others. Which was? Oh, you guys got together and did something else too? Uh, it's nothing. Just just forget I said anything. Why? Was it embarrassing? We didn't put on any event, and, and even if we did, it wouldn't have been on stage. Toa, don't lie to me. <laughs> I think you just let the cat out of the bag. You kind did. So, you guys did do something on stage? What exactly was it? Rain, you're being intrusive again. Uh, me and my big mouth. Rain, you're making her feel bad. You really want to know? If you don't mind telling me, anyway. Now you're being a bit more respectful, which is good. Who knows? It might help me think of something Class 7 could do. Sure. Well, if you insist... Oh, Reen definitely insists. I can't turn down a chance to help the sweet, fledgling first year, especially after how much you help me. Spill it. I'll reach down to my toes and muster every last bit of courage to tell you. Tell me what? Thanks. Was it some kind of traumatic experience or something? I don't know. Well, in short, we put on a musical performance. Does not sound traumatic at all. A little concert of sorts, you could say. So what happened? Wow, really? I wouldn't have expected that from you guys. So you can play an instrument then? I don't know. <laughs> I am afraid not. So what were you, the singer? That's how I got stuck being the singer. <laughs> Angie, Crow, and George all played for the show, though. Wow, that actually sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. So what happened? If we put on a musical show, I'm sure Elliot would be a big help. I don't know if it's a good idea, Reem. So what kind of music was it? Classical? Folk? Show tunes? Oh jeez, it probably not have been Marshall Mavers type of stuff. Well... Well it's what? It's hard to describe, but it was... passionate? Really modern. Oh, so it was rap? I'm not sure I get what you mean. I don't either. <laughs> well, it's not really a genre that's caught on in the Empire yet. You definitely wouldn't hear it played in Heimdall's Opera House, that's for sure. I wouldn't know because I couldn't go in the damn building. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alright. Tell me. Do you have some free time tomorrow evening? I don't know, will I? If you can't come until after you're done exploring the old schoolhouse, that's okay with me. 
No, I'm definitely gonna come to you. As Tomorrow soon as possible. Evening? Yeah, I should be free. Should I meet you in the student council room? Should we? Oh, no. Can you go to the computer room in the main school building? Oh boy, what do you want to show sure me? Sure thing. Does this have something to do with the concert you held last year? Maybe it was fully driven? I have no idea. <laughs> You'll just have to find out tomorrow night. Oh, Toa, don't leave me in suspense. You take all those bags now? Anyway, sorry to keep asking favors of you, but would you mind coming to the lower class dormitory with me? If we stay out here much longer, we're going to miss dinner at the dorms. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> you have a point. But really, I'm fine with all the bags. Just leave the heavy lifting to me. I mean, the paper bags, how much can they weigh? You're so stubborn. Yes, he is. He definitely is. Chapter 6, Progressive Chaos. I did not like the sound of that. It's more of like an oxymoron when you think about it. So I have oxymoron? I don't know. Uh, I could talk to people, but I kind of want like a stay in your room. I know I usually don't do that, guys, but I really gotta finish up here. Free day, All right? Sorry, all I imagine we would do is just talk to everybody in the dorm and just stop some stuff. Not really important, I don't think. If I do miss something important, then I'm sorry, but I can't go back now. <laughs> just can't go back. Okay, what are our tasks for today? Schoolhouse and what else? Good Mr. Schwarzer, we have come to an amusing juncture at which even where... Even where... I to submit a blank request form, you would naturally assume my intent to be an investigation of the old schoolhouse. And so it is once again. <laughs> Personal request. I mean, I have, a, I have to ask you to do me a favor. I'll be in the training hall on the first floor of the gym. If you come, come prepared. Mm. Heart the stomach. I'm thinking about making some food as a present for someone. But I don't know what to make. It's gotta be something that screams me, you know? I think I'll need someone's help to figure that out. If you got a stomach of steel and can help me out, meet me in the cafeteria kitchen in the student union. I don't know who Mint is, but she's that's very um, ominous way she wrote, wrote that. Her question about Angelica. If you put it in directly, I guess it doesn't have anything to, anything to do with the orbital bike. Probably not. But it says to come prepared. Wonder what that's all about. Mm. Let's see. We've got the usual weather from the principal and the others a quest for helping for help making a dish. And then this evening, I'm meeting Toa up in the computer room. I'm curious what she has to show, but I guess right now I should just focus on the task I got here. Yes, you should. But we got a nice fall day on our hands. It looks like this weather is going to stick around for a while. My first free day since we switched back to the long sleeve uniforms, too. Better roll up those sleeves and get to work. Sure, do I have any bonding points? I have four bonding points. Holy crap. Who's available to bond with? Let's get out of here first. Door. What? Emma? Mom Sarah, apparently, at the cafe. But Alright, guys, I gotta leave it here. I gotta take a break. I mean, yes, I do know I could just uh, visited the dorms after. Just. Got picked that option and saved there, but I don't know. Kind of gets sort of mundane when you just go around talking to everybody and you just save the same old stuff. Again, if I did miss out on something, guys, I apologize. I just didn't really have the time to do that. And to be honest, I really didn't feel like doing that because all we do whenever we've done that is just talk to everybody in their rooms, and nothing really important ever, nothing really important ever came up. All right, so yeah, we're gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.